Hey, what is going on, you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape, and welcome to a brand new video for you all today. So today, at long last, I have obtained the Achievement Diary Cape, and in this video, you will see the last remaining achievements that I had to do, featuring everything from Chompy Bird Hunting to Mage Training Arena, which I would definitely say would be the two most time-consuming things that I had left, uh, especially in this video. And if you're wondering why it took me so long to go for this Achievement Diary Cape, it's mainly because I just thought that I I would never really need it that much, I would never use it that much, and honestly the only time that I did want to go for it was for Master Clues, which uh, I've done just about 300 on this account without it, so I guess after all that time went by and all those clues got completed, I just really didn't think about getting the cape after a couple years, and it wasn't until recently when I obtained my quest cape that I figured why not just go for an achievement cape alongside that a music cape. Now at the very start of this video I did have a few diaries all the way completed and some of them I had partially completed. The main ones for this video that we're going to be doing is the Ardon, Kandarin, Corind, and Kebos, Western Province, and Lumbridge and Drainer. I remember when diaries first came out, I specifically wanted to get all of the wilderness diaries done because I spent so many years and so much of my time in the wild, so it was really worth it to do that one right away. Of course, you have the uh, diaries that give you no to Dagoneth Bones, so I did those early on as well, but that still leaves us with five different diaries that we we have to complete uh, some from scratch and some from just continuing from years ago. I did start with the Ardone Diaries and I got pretty far but I could not do everything so what I wanted to do is just kind of switch it up, kind of just hop on to different diaries depending on what I had left to do. So as you can see here we're doing Lumbridge. Today without a doubt uh, the hardest requirement for all of this was getting the actual quest cape to complete the diary in Lumbridge, uh, doing the Chompy Birds, killing about 700 of those, getting a total of 1000 KC. And of course you can't forget the Mage Training Arena. That one was a first for me. I've actually never done Mage Training Arena in my life, so that was interesting to do and uh, really interesting to learn about. I was really learning all sorts of things during this video. For example, uh, taking a train in Dorgasha Khan. I never knew that was even a thing, so that's pretty interesting. Also, just doing the Dorgasha Khan agility area. That was uh, new for me. Also, during the midst of all this, I did complete uh, Land of the Goblins and a couple other quests that have come out recently. The Runecrafting quest, uh, obviously that was uh, quite a while ago, but yeah, I do have some footage for that. So once again, I would get my quest cape back just as soon as I'd lose it. And thanks to using the quest cape emote, I was finally, after all these years, able to complete the Elite Lumbridge and Drainer Diaries. The benefit of this one was Explorer's Ring 4, which you get 100% run replenished three times a day. You get 30 30 free high alks, a 20% discount on the chest in the basement, and 6 total slots for blocking slayer tasks. Not to mention the ability to use fairy rings without the Draymon and Lunar Staff, which, you know, that's a first for me. Finally, I can drop my Lunar Staff after all these years, but I feel like I'm going to kind of miss it, so I might just keep it in the bank for now. Now we move on to doing the Kandarin Diaries, and these diaries, you know, I never really did, so this was all new for me, and uh, those who have actually done this do know that you do get the Kandarin Headgear 4, which teleports you directly to Sherlock infinite amount of times, and uh, that's pretty incredible. I mean, that saves so much time on Master Clues, Elite Clues, etc. And this diary was pretty enjoyable. Um, I was taking breaks from it, I think I got like 41 out of 43, and then I went to do some Karend and Kebos. There'd always be a couple steps on these diaries that I just either didn't know how to do or really didn't want to do, so I just wait till the very end. Similar to Chompy Bird Hunting and like level 5 all BA rolls, things like that, you know, you definitely want to wait till the very end to do those. Exploring in all these different areas and doing all these different tasks and activities, talking to all these different NPCs, uh, really was entertaining. I, I kind of regret not doing this sooner, but at the same time, I understand why I didn't do this for so long, I just didn't think it was necessary. But I think if I could kind of go back in time and restart this account, if Old School RuneScape like comes out again, I definitely think I would rush Quest Cape first and uh, Achievement Cape shortly after that. Because not only does it force you to train your skills up, but also you get to just learn more about the game and access so many different shortcuts and benefits once you do complete these diaries. I think from someone who's always uh, been against doing quests and diaries, I would say, uh, you know, I'm a changed man. I would really say that it's worth looking into and it's worth doing, even if it's not your cup of tea, even if you don't really enjoy it. I think the rewards alone make it uh, well worthwhile. 
And for a certain amount of these diaries, you know, you would have to do a little bit of farming. And uh, unfortunately, some of my patches died multiple times. So, you know, make sure to bring some ultra compost. Don't underestimate the belladonna patch. And other annoying things would happen. Like I dropped my monkey talisman. I only had a ninja gree gree. So I had to go back and get a normal monkey gree gree. And I ran all the way through, um, I guess, underneath Apatol. So I went the complete wrong way to get that. So, you know, mistakes were made, but that's okay. I was also brand new at the balloon the hot air balloon trying to navigate that to castle wars I had a couple crashes along the way but finally we got there uh, you can follow a simple guide and uh, with that i was finally able to complete the medium ardone diaries which uh, pretty much enabled me to claim my hard and elite task rewards from the ardone diaries which is awesome no more already cloak one for this guy you know finally upgrading from one to four all in one sitting that's really awesome to see uh getting a lot of xp lamps as well i had virtual levels turned on so i figured i only had like three skills that weren't above level 100 so that being construction fishing herb lore and agility so slowly i was using all these xp lamps that i would receive on those skills not for any particular reason but uh, it would just be nice to get to level 100 instead of 99 one thing that was very annoying, I'd say probably the third most annoying thing out of all these diaries was to complete uh, the medium Kandarin diary, which was actually the last thing I had to do was to create the mind helmet from scratch. So once I finally got that done, I was able to claim all of my rewards, um, medium, hard, and elite. And with this, I was finally given the Kandarin headgear four, which as I mentioned before, is an instant and infinite amount of teleports to Sherlock, meaning that I don't have to go to the Ranging Guild or the Legends Guild anymore and then run north or run east just to do another Master Clue or Elite Clue step. We click one teleport and be there instantly. So it's it's very comparable to the Music Cape teleport. You know, you get right next to the Music Cape guy and that's yet again another clue step for a lot of different clues. Goes hand in hand with the headgear and I'm happy to say that I do have a Music Cape as well. Uh, while doing all these diaries, I was obtaining more music tracks and I think I only had about 60 or 70 left. So I was able to kind of get all these music tracks done simultaneously while doing the diaries and the quests. And overall, um, one thing that I did find interesting was uh, fighting organized crime for the Karend and Kebos diary, uh, gaining intelligence and then delivering this intelligence to the captain in the Shazian area. So that was interesting. Uh, it was different. So, you know, they do drop all sorts of things. So maybe in the future, I'll do a organized crime loot video bringing the mafia to runescape so that should be interesting one of my last uh karend steps to complete of the diary was definitely delivering an artifact uh to the captain khaled and of course stealing that artifact and getting away with it that was one of those things that i've never done in my life and uh using a guide is one thing but getting lucky and not getting caught by any of the guards is another so i was able to complete that and with this i was able to receive a rada's blessing four never have had a rada's blessing on my account not even even the the lowest tier ones so this was huge for me so it was really nice to unlock all of these um untradeable really good looking armor pieces really useful things uh, and we are getting closer and closer to the achievement diary cape i can practically smell it from here all these uh lovely antique xp lamps as well finally got all of the nice looking things minus the explorer's ring uh we are going to go do the mage training arena now and that should be able to finish up the lumbridge diaries of course that one specific task of casting bones to peaches and Alcarid Palace that we're going to need at least five hours of maze training arena for and this was the very first time that I've ever done this I've never done this on my Iron Man I've never even done this as a kid uh, and yeah this was just all brand new to me something that I never thought I'd ever do but here we are using rune light was very helpful for this I really recommend it for the uh, telekinetic room especially it was really convenient to just use the green squares highlighted it saved me so much time and I honestly could not imagine doing that room without it the graveyard was interesting because all in all it was really just uh, using two different squares and just converting a lot of uh, bananas to bones or bones to bananas whatever and then using that in the shoot 
And yeah, overall, the other two rooms were pretty laid back, just high alchemy, and uh, I honestly forgot what the other one was, but you know, it was a good experience, and finally, I was able to claim all of the Lumbridge rewards, uh, finally getting that uh, Explorer's Ring 4. If I had a dollar for every time I said the word finally, I'd be uh, buying that achievement cape with just that money, you know, but yeah, overall, it was pretty laid back. I was really glad to have said that I've done it, uh, I learned it, so now on my Iron Man account, if I ever want to do a Mage Training Arena video in the future, I honestly won't look down upon it. I'm kind of looking forward to it. So that's really good. And now we just have the chompy bird hunting left to do. This was just, uh, I don't know. This was boring. I, I was doing it the wrong way the whole time, pretty much. I think I did like the northeast spot at this area and it was the worst spawns ever. Probably took like six hours to do these chompies. And I think it's only supposed to take like three. So this took a lot longer than expected. But once I was able to hit 1000, I was uh, finally able to say that I can go claim my achievement demon diary cape because i've officially completed everything we got all green no more yellows no more reds no more delays and no more excuses we have obtained the quest cape last month and now it is time to go claim the achievement diary cape Big shout out to my girlfriend who's also matching me. She got this cape a long time ago and uh, it's nice to actually be able to wear the same cape now. So that's really nice. Uh, as you can see in the bank tab here, we do have the music cape and I would have shown you guys more clips and more footage of me obtaining song tracks, uh, but I, honestly just a lot of the clips got corrupted. So it wasn't really worth showing after I lost so many of them. But needless to say, this Achievement Diary Cape, the music, and all the quests in between was a really big grind for me. A big shout out to Runelite for all the help. And 2022, we did get the Achievement Diary Cape, the Quest Cape, and the Music Cape. I never thought I'd get it, guys, but we did it. So with all that being said, thank you guys very much for taking the time out of your day to watch the video. I know that I have not uploaded a lot lately. But needless to say, I will be uploading a lot more in the coming days. I'm working on a very big project on a different account for you all, and I really hope you guys enjoy that video, and I hope you enjoyed this one too. So thank you guys for watching, and until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.